people have some serious beef about who invented the hamburger. The American hamburger we know today is only around 100 years old. It's simple enough, meat in between two buns, but a lot of people seem to fight over bragging rights for this summertime favorite. Five American cities claim to be the home of the hamburger. The burger concept probably started out with a raw dish called steak tartare. Russian chefs made the dish of ground raw meat with chopped onions and raw eggs. Hamburg, Germany became a major port for Russia's trade operations. So the famous meat dish came too. As more German people moved to the US, they took their traditional meat preparations with them. U.S. restaurants started serving up Hamburg-style chopped raw steak. It was salted, lightly smoky, and mixed with onions and breadcrumbs. At this time, raw meat was used as medicine for digestive issues, which sounds counterintuitive, until New York doctor James Salisbury suggested that cooking the beef patties could be just as healthy. The Salisbury steak was born. But when it comes down to the exact roots of the American hamburger, there are a couple stories to tell. First, there are the Menches brothers from Akron, Ohio. They are said to have run out of pork sausages while selling sandwiches at a New York fair. They put beef on a sandwich instead, naming it after Hamburg, New York, where the fair was held. Then there's Charlie Negreen, or should we say Hamburger Charlie, from Seymour, Wisconsin. He was selling meatballs at a county fair at age 15 in 1885, but no one would buy from him. He realized his meatballs were too hard to eat on the go. He quickly smushed together meatballs between two slices of bread to make it easier to hold while walking. People loved it. We can thank Oscar Weber Bilby and his wife Fanny for the hamburger bun. Otherwise, we'd still be eating burgers on bread. Their hamburger was served on a farm in Tulsa, Oklahoma on 4th of July. But the United States Library of Congress gives all the credit to Louis Lassen as the guy who actually invented the hamburger. His beef patty was served between two slices of toast. Lassen served steak sandwiches from a lunch wagon. He would take scraps from the lunch rush and turn it into a burger. A different hamburger made headlines at the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904. Fletcher Davis from Athens, Texas took his burger recipe there and sold out. He claimed to have been selling beef sandwiches since the 1880s, way before the other guys. Buns started to get more popular when White Castle set up shop. The burger chain actually started out as a tiny food cart in Wichita, Kansas. Their burgers were served with specifically created buns and flipped with a special spatula. It wasn't until 1925 that cheese was put on the hamburger, but it took another 10 years for someone to think of the name Cheeseburger. The first double-decker, called the Big Boy, was created in Glendale, California. In 1948, the McDonald brothers got into the hamburger business. Then came the competition, Burger King. But McDonald's prize menu item, the Big Mac, didn't get invented until 1967. Wendy's entered the ring after former Kentucky Fried Chicken chef Dave Thomas switched to burgers. Today, more than 40 billion burgers are served in the United States per year, and it's no longer just scrap meat. You can get a bison burger, a wagyu burger, turkey burgers, and chicken burgers. Even burgers with no meat in them at all. So to the true inventor of the hamburger, whoever you are, thank you for creating an American classic. We owe you big time.